For real. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you. Well, hello, and thank you once again for joining me here today on my channel. If you are new, my name is Ange, aka 50 Cents UK, and guys, sending you lots of love. Thank you once again for being here. I truly appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well. It is a beautiful day today here in London. It is a beautiful sunny spring day. So, you know, when the weather's nice, it puts you in a good mood. So, yep, I am in a perfect mood today and the perfect mood to talk about perfume. So guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to unbox and give you my first impressions of the new-ish, new-ish Billie Eilish perfume, which is simply called Eilish. Now, I know this was released in the US. I think the US got it a few months ago. We have only just kind of recently got it. And for some weird reason, this perfume is exclusive to Harrods here in London, okay? And to me, that's ridiculous. And the thing is, you can't even order it online. You literally have to go in the store to buy it, which is mad. I'm sure they're going to change that at some point. But for now, it's exclusive to Harrods and you have to go in the shop to get it. You can't buy it online, which I think is crazy. But there you are. So <laughs> this is it here. It's still in the Harrods bag. Now, the one thing I will say, they gave me this little test strip, which is in the shape of the bottle. I think it's really cute. And they sprayed it on this test strip. So I have technically smelt it, but when I was in the Harrods perfume section yesterday, I've sprayed so many perfumes that literally my nose was like, I couldn't smell anything. I've just had so many different perfumes on, it was unreal. But funnily enough, I can still smell this and it smells really nice, I will say that. So guys, let's have a look and see what it looks like. Oh, and actually, they gave me a little sample of it as well, which I think is really cute. But here it is in its glory. This is the box. Billy looking very, you know, serious there and moody. I must say, this is not the kind of like packaging and that that I would have expected from her. I thought it would be a bit more grungy and a bit more edgy. I really like it though. I think it's really classy and sophisticated. So let's get the cellophane off and let's get into this bad boy. So this is what the bottle looks like. This is the 100 mil. It does come in a 50 mil and I think a 30 mil. But I thought, you know what, I might as well just get the 100 mil. I do like my big bottles. So yeah, that is the bottle. I really do like it. I think it's really nice. I think it would look nice as like a decoration anywhere in the house, to be fair. But yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty weighty, not too bad. And as I say, this is the kind of packaging that I would have thought Kim Kardashian or someone would have come out with but not necessarily Billie Eilish, but hey ho. So yeah, guys, let's um, spray this. So before I spray this, let me tell you what the notes are. So looking on Fragrantica, it says the notes are, and I will put them up here somewhere, sugar, mandarin, orange, red berries, vanilla, cacao, spicy notes, rose, amber, tonka bean, musk and woody notes now to me that is right up my street you know i love my gourmands and i absolutely do love cacao i love sugar i love berries so obviously this is a sweet gourmand perfume right up my street so already i can say that i do like it but let's spray it i haven't tried it on my skin yet as i say i've only smelt it on that little paper oh yeah, this smells so good. This smells very edible, very sweet. Berries, sugar, vanilla. That is what I'm smelling straight away. I don't know if I can smell any cacao, to be fair, but it's the, oh, overwhelming vanilla, sugar, and berries, 100%. Now, on the card, 
obviously it's properly properly dried down and it's still really strong i can still really smell it so i'm hoping that means longevity is good but i'm still not particularly getting cacao yeah it's still very vanilla-y and just very sweet in the dry down but the opening i really like the opening because you do get the berries in the opening it's very sweet it's very girly this is youthful this is a youthful perfume a hundred percent yeah i must say i'm not detecting any spiciness from it i get a slight bit of woodiness but it's very minute this to me although it has rose in it i can barely detect the rose like barely so i would never call this like a fruity floral this to me is more of like a fruity gourmand vanilla based scent with a lot of sugar so it's really toothachingly sweet guys so you have to like sweet perfumes and i must say this is not the kind of scent that i would have associated with billy eilish like I don't know why but i thought she would have gone for something more dark and deep and mysterious but she's gone for something really pretty really quite light quite juicy very young very lively you know and it is a really pretty pleasant scent i don't see many people not liking it unless they don't like sweet scents so overall guys I like the fragrance okay I think it's nice it's kind of my type of perfume that I gravitate towards because I do love my sweet perfumes as you know the sweeter the better as far as I'm concerned you can't get too sweet in a perfume but not everyone's like that so I would say give it a test if you're not too into sweet fragrances but yeah I like it I have to give it more of a wear test so that I can see how it lasts or how it projects on my skin. But right now I'm smelling it all around me. It's quite cloud-like, it's soft, it's fluffy. As I say, very girly and juicy. There's a juiciness to it. There is a slight little bit of powderiness coming through now that I can detect, but it's a really kind of cakey, sweet, nice perfume. That's all I can say about it really. So there you have it guys. That's my first impression of the eye Eilish, Billie Eilish perfume. Um, let me know if you've tried it. Are you going to traipse to Harrods to get it if you're in the UK? If you're in the US, you're lucky. You can probably get it anywhere or order it online. But yeah, if you're like me and you're in the UK, you've got to traipse to Harrods to get it. Are you going to bother? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, guys, I'll see you again soon.